Example two, pretty easy. It says evaluate the expression. They want to know if I give you the formula or the problem 7x plus 15, and I tell you x is 8, what's it going to be? So that means I've just simply got to put 8 in for x. Well, 7 times 8 would give me 56, and when I add 15, 71. And I'm not going to require you to show me work on those problems tonight. I could, but I'm not going to. All right. 3x minus 5y when x is 8 and y is 2. So again, I've got to put 8 in for x, just like I did in the last problem. And this one, they tell us y has to be 2. So I'm going to change that. OK. So the first part there is 3 times x x is 8, so I'm doing 3 times 8, that's 24. And the other part is 5 times 2, 10. that's 10, 24 minus 10, 14. 14. All right. The last thing then we have to do is translate verbal phrases. You may, for this, need the list that's on the side board, but I'm not saying you have to write it down in your notes. I'm not saying it's going to be up there forever either, but I think you probably know a lot of those words anyway. You probably don't need to write them down. And if I'm in a good mood next week, I'll type you up a list and give it to you so you don't even have to worry about that. Okay? That's a list of words that imply certain operations. Okay? You can see the first column over there has addition, and it says plus, sum, increased, total, and more than. Anytime you see one of those words in a statement, that means you have to change it to an addition. And you know some of those already. You know that plus means addition. You know that sum means addition, at least by hope. Okay. Subtraction has minus, difference, decreased, fewer, and less. And obviously I didn't put like added to, subtracted from, because that's pretty obvious. Multiplication, we did a lot of those last year. Times, product, and of. Division, quotient, and per. And equals is. So we're not actually solving anything here. You're just writing the statement that goes with it. So example three says 17 minus a number. 17 minus a number. Well, take it right in order here. Okay. The first thing says 17, so I'm going to write down a 17. Minus is which operation over there? Subtraction. Subtraction. And when they say a number, hopefully you remember this as well, that indicates the presence of a variable. variable. Good. And you can use whatever variable you want unless they tell you something else. So, fine. P. 17 minus P. And there you go. Done. That's it. That's it. The difference of a number and 21. So they tell you it's a difference. Where does that fit in the list over there? That's a subtraction problem. A number. That's a variable. Kristen, pick a variable for me. K. K. Clever. All right. And 21. Just got to write 21. Quotient of 48 and a number. The quotient of 48 and a number. Which operation? Victoria. Right. That's a division problem. It's the quotient of 48 and a number. So 48 goes first. And Victoria, I'll let you take all the glory and pick a variable. V. Fine. No, 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 no. T. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, example six. One third of a number. Where does of fit in this? Multiplication. It's a multiplication problem. Now, remember multiplication, you probably don't want to use x for multiplication because too often we would end up probably using that as the variable. 
so you probably want to use the dot, or you could use the asterisks, or you could use parentheses, either one. Okay. All right, we've got the first thing is one third, not tricky. And Alicia, pick a variable. X. X. There you go. The sum of a number and none. Sum of a number and none. Where does sum fit on the list? Dale. Sorry? Sorry? What are you talking about? Sum. Oh, the sum. Addition. Sum is an addition problem. We've got the a uh, number first, so Dale pick the variable. D. D. And then 9. There you go. All right, and the last one is a little bit more wordy, and you actually have to think about it a little bit. A copier can make C photocopies in a minute. How many copies will it make in an hour? Copier can make C photocopies in a minute. How many copies will it make in an hour? Write me a variable expression. Who thinks they have the correct variable expression? Kristen. C times 60. C times 60. Very good. 60 minutes in an hour. It makes C copies every minute. That'll tell you how many it'll make. 